Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube on here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with what I hope is a glorious uh, split composition. I tell you what, I think I will just go with the flow literally and um, see what we get. But I'm hopefully doing a chaos blow of some sort, but hopefully with a twist. So we'll see how we go. Now, for my Dutch pour or chaos blow, I certainly don't have my paint as thin as I've seen other artists. So I definitely realised earlier on, it's just what works better for you. So this is not really thin. This is... um not thick either but it's not thin thin as you would call it so I just find it works better for me the um, when I'm blowing out it it holds the color so much better so um, yes it's not too thick and not too thin so I'm gonna try and do a bit of a different composition today and um, and this is what I'm here for, is to show you the basics, what I do, and then when if even if it's your first go, you can put your own spin on it. You can, um, yeah, try to do something different and make it your own. That's what's always nice about it, I find. So I'm going to do that white there. I'm actually going to do something here. This is the Dark Sea by um, well, well, look, by Global. God, I'm losing it, I'll tell you. And I just want to sort of sprinkle that about on these sides. Oh, that's way too much. And then I'm going to give them a blowout. So it gives me a nice background without, um, before I even start, kind of. Go every which way you choose. much on here it's some um, color in the whole canvas up but it's absolutely gorgeous <laughs> let's turn this into a one color chaos flow look how lovely that is wow lovely that's lovely Wow, 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 super duper. Okay, I'm going to put the navy on again. This paint isn't isn't too thin and it isn't too thick. So I just, like I said, I just find it works so perfect for me to do my Dutch pour, chaos blow, whatever you choose to call it. I've got a bit of a wonkiness going on here. I might do the same there, but just with a bit of white. Or maybe I'll go up there and down there. I mean, this could very easy be like a monochrome um, chaos blow, I guess. Let's see how I go. Beautiful. Go over with the white. Very easy um, Dutch pour chaos flow if you kept it like exactly like that. Wow. 
Wow. You know what, that doesn't really need anything. I mean, I'm going to do something because I had planned to do something, but that's absolutely gorgeous on its own. You wouldn't need to actually do anything. So how easy is really um, the Chaos Blow, Dutch Pour, whatever you want to call it. It's a very easy technique, but also I found that I had to get the perfect dryer. I have got about <laughs> 10 dry different dryers and they all do work to a certain extent, but I just love this mini baby bailis that you can, you can actually extend the handle backwards instead of forwards, which I just find perfect. So I, apparently they are still available, but they're just a new, they've updated, they're just a different color. So um, you'll see links to my Amazon down below. Okie doke, I want to put some just tiny little blooms in there but just very simple ones hopefully i'm gonna just try it so it's just putting back the same color except this is my um gold with the dark sea added and this is the bleh, white with uh, australian flow troll in it so let's see if just a little baby blowout bloom how that looks in here. Sweetish. Looks quite sweet. Like it's just floating there. That's cute. I don't mind that. So of course you can do it or you don't have to do it. So I'll give it a go again. Just in the white here. I mean, yeah, you can absolutely leave it exactly how it is. There's no, remember there's no rules. The only rule is there's no rules and it's your art, your room, your way. So go for it, I say. Just using my straw again, just give it. Beautiful. as a button kind of monochromatic but it isn't um, I'm gonna actually leave that exactly like that because I love it so look out for the photos on the art wall at the end there is a link to the uh, picture wall app um, underneath in my uh, information box so have a little look see but I'll give you some uh, close-ups of this now 